Hello Aquarius, what's going on? Hope you are doing very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a reading for me. Um, you are so welcome here. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. I just want to put that candle a little bit closer so you can actually see. See, it's a candle. It just looks like a a, a light blob <laughs> for far away. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and you know if that is the case and you feel called to like and subscribe for me I'd be very grateful and I'd appreciate that as well. So let's see what is going on. What's going on for... Ooh, did you see that? Did you see how fast that came out? So you have the... Uh, Oh, Aquarius, this is something you've been waiting for. Look, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Four of Wands. It might come in very suddenly as well because, you know, well, you saw how fast the card came out. There's something here as well. Um, and this has been showing up in a lot of the readings. I feel like that full moon in Scorpio and the eclipse was very strong. Um, you have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So there was some kind of sadness from your past that you have released, um, which could be anything, you know, but it is a love reading, so maybe it's about um, love that you release, but you see how behind him there's the two of cups, right? So it's like, you you know, there was a, something sad, um, but actually this new person coming in, see with the two of cups here, this is your soulmate, this is the one that you were supposed to be with all along. So I feel like, um, you know, you've, yeah, look, you might be walking away from something um, but you've released some kind of sadness from your past and I feel like that's what brings this in really quick so there's like an un... I don't know if it's unexpected because I feel like you've been waiting for it you know maybe you've... because you've, you might know this person like they're they're new but you might know them but um, obviously some of you haven't met them but you might have been feeling like you're gonna meet someone or something like that and here they come and I feel like you're going to be in a commitment with them pretty fast, you know, or it's certainly an offer that this person has the intention of it leading to like commitment, marriage, moving in together, long-term commitment. Oh, what a nice way to start the reading. You have judgment here. That can mean a few things. So um, I'm going to clarify that, but you could be dealing with a Scorpio, the two of swords. Okay, clarify. Okay, I feel like that's a lot. Let me just reshuffle that. Could be an emperor coming towards you, but let's reshuffle. Um, clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. The lovers. Ooh la la. Can you see they're being. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, it's like, can you see them being naked from there? This person might come in very fast because I see the Knight of Wands and I see the Eight of Wands here. So this could be someone that you already know, like plucking up the courage to come in. Um, we have to see, but so you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, this person could not come in until you had healed from the past. And I'm not saying like, it's your fault, you know, everybody heals. The thing is, it's divine timing, so you wouldn't have been able to heal any faster. Do you know what I mean? You just, you heal when you heal. And this other person will have been going through stuff as well, so it's, you know, divine timing. But um, this came out in reverse. So the Nine of Wands talks about having been hurt in the past, you know, being a little suspicious of people coming in. Um, but I feel you've released that. So that's why this person comes in. And you know what? See, with the lovers, you could be dealing with a soulmate. Um, could be a Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Clarify the Four of Wands, please. The Eight of Swords. Um, we have the Ten of Cups and the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Clarify judgment. The Tower. And clarify. 
clarify the two stories. Someone's had a wake up call. Or someone's about to get a wake up call. Clarify the two swords. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. You have the King of Pentacles here, so this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is very responsible. You're going to be getting a message from this person. I feel like it's a soulmate. They're very responsible. They could be quite well off, you know, or they're just good at saving. Um, they're very, like, stable. They like commitment. You know, they like money, this kind of thing. What is this Eight of Swords, please? Am I in the wrong deck? Is that what? Is that what it is? Okay, which one? <clears throat> Let's try this one. I feel like you may get a message from this person quite suddenly, or you, they might kind of pop up into your life quite suddenly. Clarify this Eight of Swords. Something's ending. Oh! All right, listen, um, for one thing, this person has money because you have the King of Pentacles and the wealthy man. So that can mean they're an earth sign or they're just like they're good with money. Um, I see the gift here as well. So I don't take that to be a literal, like a, an actual literal gift, but I feel like this is someone who has money that's going to want to spoil you. Okay. I think this person has recently like liberated themselves from a marriage or a long-term commitment or a living situation which I think came up for Gemini. I did a bonus reading for Gemini recently and it came up for Gemini so there's their card so you could be dealing with a Gemini or you've got Gemini in your chart okay because you have the four of wands here with the eight of swords so this person was in like they were living with someone or they were engaged or they were in a long-term commitment or they were married that was preventing them from being with you but you're gonna get a message you know what i'm sure that came up in the daily reading for today as well you might want to check out the daily reading um not that i'm pimping the channel <laughs> but uh so you have message of concern and coffin you're gonna hear from this person like out of the blue and they're going to tell you like a marriage ended or a relationship ended. Like for those of you that don't know this person, you know, you're going to meet them. Uh, like I, I, I want to say out of the blue. And uh, you're going to find out that at some point they've left a marriage or a long term commitment or something. That could have been a while ago. It could have been like yesterday. It's just going to be different for for all of you. But for some of you, this is like very recent because you have the judgment in the tower. I feel like somebody's had a wake up call about a relationship that they were in. I uh, think you're about to become very busy, Aquarius. Yeah, there's something about a house. Yeah, you have imprisonment and you have house in reverse. You have distant horizons and false person. I think you're dealing with someone that was in a relationship with like a false person. Someone who wasn't what they said they were. They were actually after your person's money because you have great fortune here. Then this false person, distant horizons, imprisonment and house in reverse. So I feel like your person has money. I don't know who you're, I don't know who this is. Um, but uh, yeah, th this person that they were dealing with in the past, they, they were only interested in your person's money, so they've bounced, they've left. There's something about the house. Um, 
like they were trapped in a house with this person or they didn't want to leave because they own the house together or something. It's something like that. Like they couldn't leave because they lived with them or they had property tied up with them or something like that, okay? But there's something about a massive wake up call. Like, let's see if I can clarify. They're gonna come in with some kind of gift. I don't know what that means, but I think it just means that they're kind of wealthy and they want to spoil you. So that, you know, they might come, I don't know, like flowers or try and take you out for a nice meal. I kind of feel like you've been waiting for them as well. Like I said though, you might not know this person, but you felt energetically like they're about to come into your life. Um, it could also be that this person is going to feel like a gift, you know? Clarify this judgment and the tower. Oh, they've made some, yeah. You're about to become very busy. <laughs> And the camera's just gone to 11-11. You have judication here, but see how it's a court? It's like a judge in a courtroom. This person, <clears throat> yeah. And you have distant horizons. This person that you are dealing with. <clears throat> my throat is going, so they may have had problems with their throat chakra, like speaking up for their needs, what they want. They may have just been very much like go with the flow. Um, but unfortunately it's got them into a relationship with someone that just wanted their money. So they've had some, they've had or they will have, or they're about to have, some kind of epiphany, like a wake up call, like a decision, but I think it's going to happen very fast for some reason. And they're going to leave. Why does it happen so fast? Sudden wealth? It's going to happen suddenly. I don't think that has anything to do with the wealth, it's because it has sudden. Expect this to come in suddenly and you have courthouse. Yeah, I think you're dealing with someone that was, there's like a divorce, okay? Um, you know, or they have to go to court about the house. It's something like that, all right? Why does it happen so suddenly? What's the decision? Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Okay, well you have the 10, the journey at the bottom of the deck. So this person's just done with whoever they're dealing with. But look what just came out. Thief and privileged lady. So, yeah. This person that your person, your wealthy man or your wealthy woman, because I know it says privileged lady, but you know, that it can be a dude here. Um, they're having, they, they have, it's either that they have some sudden realization that this person is like stealing from them. You know, I think the person that, they're with someone who's only interested in their money. So I think they've taken a lot of their money and they're not really, you know, they're living the high life kind of thing at your person's expense. And I think your person is just sick of it basically. Because that, that sudden wealth card also came out kind of in reverse. So it makes me think like maybe they've stolen from them, you know, and your person didn't know, like maybe they were taking their money. I don't know. Maybe they had a joint bank account, but like you're, they were secretly siphoning off money or something messed up like that. I don't know. It's something like that. Like they either find out this person has been taking a lot of their money that they didn't know about or they're just sick of it. Like they're just sick of this person leeching off them. Okay, um, what is the, okay. What is this, uh, why is the two of swords there? I feel like you're not gonna see this coming. I feel like you've kind of been blocking this out a little bit. Um, until very recently, like I said, it's not your fault you've been healing, I think, from this Five of Swords. Because I think you were dealing with a karmic in your past, some kind of karmic relationship that made you kind of a little closed off, okay? Um, but that's like no more because like you've done your shadow work and it's just, it's just the right time for this person to come in. 
But I also think you're not going to see this coming. Yeah, you're coming. You're coming out of hermit mode. So you may have been like in a spiritual awakening kind of phase. You know, when you're coming out of that now. What is this two of swords? Oh yeah, you're. Look at that. That is beautiful. The two of swords with the ace of swords. Um. It's like as soon as the fog clears about this past sadness, because some of you might be making the choice to walk away from someone if they're still in your life, or maybe you've been waiting for someone and you're like, no, we're done with that. Or it could just be like, like I said, you're walking away from the memory of someone, you know, like someone that hurt you, you're finally healed from it. And that's when they come in. And I feel like you've done that. So honestly, I feel like you can expect this person in pretty soon. Um, clarify this, what's this offer? Let's get some of these cards here. The sun, I think you're about to be very, very happy. And listen, this will come in very fast, like very suddenly, very out of the blue. So I would just keep on top of everything. Like don't get complacent, like, you know, start doing your exercising now, right? <laughs> you know, cause everything else you can do kind of fast, right? But. You need a couple of weeks to hit the gym, right? Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. They could be an earth sign. There's a lot of earth here with this person. That was the Emperor that wanted to come out and you have the King of Cups here. So they could be, I mean, they could have Aries, but I'm kind of feeling like earth and water. So they could, that, the King of Cups is also Libra. So they could be Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, like some mix of that. But they're showing up as the Emperor. Like this is someone who, you know, it's like daddy, mummy energy, right? Someone that has everything under control, like someone faithful, someone loyal, someone hardworking. Um, but they're also, you know, they don't have the excuse me, they don't have the shadow qualities of the Emperor because they're showing up with the King of Cups, so they're not controlling. You know, they're not closed off emotionally. Like with the King of Cups, they're, they might be a little repressed, little, little repressed. I feel like they're maybe like a little too complacent, this person, or they have been in the past, you know, they just kind of let things happen. Um, that might have been something they had to learn, you know. But the King of Cups is very, uh, generous, very loving, very well balanced. They're going to be like your your rock. You know, the King of Cups is someone who everything else can be falling apart, but they're solid, you know. Um, clarify this Knight of Pentacles, please. The sun. This offer that's coming in is going to make you really happy. You illuminate me. I'm the happiest I've ever been. So this person is looking for marriage, children, commitment, you know, that's what they're looking for here, okay? Um, they also really like, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. I think they've been dealing with a leech, okay? And I'm not saying like a husband shouldn't give his wife money or a wife shouldn't give their husband money, I'm not saying that. But I feel like this person may have actually stolen from them or something like that. Or they take a lot. You know, it's like, I think your person works hard and has a lot of money, but it's like, I never have any money. Like, why do I work all the time and I don't have any money? So this privileged lady, you know, they might be dealing with someone who demands like, I don't know, designer goods or, you know, they're just kind of spoiled or something, or they may have actually stolen from them. I don't know. But see, you, you're all like nine of pentacles. Like, I got my own money. Like, I you know, I don't need a man or I don't need a sugar mama, you know, this kind of thing. And they really like that. I mean, they're still going to spoil you or they're going to try if you let them. <laughs> um, but they like that you don't need it. You know what I mean? Like they're perfectly aware that you don't need it. But I kind of feel like that makes them want to give you it more, the money. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, so that's your reading, Aquarius. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. You're about to get spoiled. Life is about to get, yeah, it's about, it's all about to kick off. So just get your rest in, but you know, get your, 
don't get complacent with the exercising, okay? And like, you know, maybe dig out if it's been a while, you know, check out what you got in your wardrobe and stuff, right? Because, you know, they might surprise you and then you think you have stuff in your wardrobe and you try it on and you're like, oh, I hate this. Anyway, that was your message, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.